Hello and welcome back to Fan Geektastic. As you can tell, today we're going to be looking at some Lady Death trading cards. Now this is the box and you've seen it in my video on my card collection. It is made by Chrome Products or Productions. Now we are not going to be opening it because I have a complete set of the sticker cards and as you can see they have a bit of a curve to them some of them a little bit more curved than others like these bottom few are not as curved but uh, there are some really pretty cards especially for stickers I mean chromium stickers from the mid 90's is not something that you run across very often but they're really pretty cards now I have a whole bunch of extras of the cards this is what the back looks like the stickers the back looks like this but both of them have the same fronts depending on what the uh, the number is like uh, number one and number one so they're the same cards just with sticker backs so what I want to do today is I want to find out because I've been told that if you try and take out this curve by pressing it you're going to end up with uh, the sticker part of this card going bad and the face not being able to stick to the back so I have one of my extra cards and I'm going to try it out and see if it works or not so what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this card into my press. Alright, I am finished pressing that sticker and let's see how it turned out. You're actually seeing it the same time that I am. Well, I'm recording it the same time that I've, I'm first looking at it. So, if you remember how bent this was, now that is straight as can possibly be it's actually straighter than the regular card so it actually worked really well so I'll put that one aside I, I didn't use this one for my set because of how miscut it is so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a couple of these on and see how many I can do at one time I can do four per per group but am I able to put multiple stacks so I'm going to try a couple of different things real quick and then I'm going to come back and let you know how it worked alright I'm done pressing some more of them and let's find out how well it worked so I got uh, number 19 number 20 21 and 22 they're all nice and flat Uh, 14, 15, 16, oops, 17, and 18. Apparently, uh, I can just stack them. <laughs> that wasn't supposed to happen, but they're uh, they're nice and flat too. Let's see if I ended up doing that again. Number nine. 10, 11, and 12, and we have 13 here, we got 
five, six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, and four. So in that group, I was able to do 22 cards. Yep, all 22 cards. They're pretty good on the on the flatness scale. Now eight and nine no six, seven and eight. Yep, five, six, seven and eight. They're uh, kinda cut a little on the short side. You can see that. Right there. So I'm going to see if I have any more of 5, 6, 7, and 8. So I can replace those with ones that are the correct um, so that they're the, the, the correct height. There, that's the word I was looking for. So all right, looks like uh, looks like we can press them, and hopefully they don't start getting out of straight. So uh, yeah, that is it for this video. I just wanted to see if it was something that could be done, and apparently it cannot, or it can be done. Um, it's not impossible. So. Um, yeah, if, if you found this video informative, interesting, or in any way entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe. For everything you're a fan of, everything you geek out about, this is Fan Geek Tastic, and we're here for you.